And hello, welcome in the last development update video from the Unity to the course. My name is Philip. I am instructor of this course, and in this video, I will show you the features that are covered in uh, in the course. Let's begin with the game preview. So let me play the game, and before that, I will switch into the menu scene, so we can start with the, from the menu. I will play the game, and the first thing we are presented with the menu screen where we can start the game and we can choose from two heroes or we can go back. <laughs> okay, so we can choose either Knight Blonde or Knight Armored. Uh, let me select Knight Armor, Knight Armored. So when I will select the Knight Armored, I will be going into the game scene and I will be able to play the game. As you can see, we are casting, we have two spells, we have a light bolt and melee attack, both of them, they have a sound effect. For the purpose of this video, I will disable sounds. So it's easier for me to talk. So currently, or actually what we have already in the course is that these two abilities, they can cause the damage and as we will slay the enemies, we will get some score. We can collect the levels and we can also be slain ourselves. So when I will receive the damage, I will, my health bar will decrease, my health will decrease and I will be eventually, eventually dead. Okay, so when I will lose the health, you can see the enemy is defeated. We will display the score screen and the, the overall score of the game, which is currently the 17, because I have slain five enemies and a different, and each enemy is giving me the different score. I can quit the game, I can start over, and I can choose the new hero, and I can try to beat my last score. So I will start again, and I can play again, and I can try to beat my last score. I have also one active ability, you can see on the right side, I can roll, so I will press the F on the keyboard, I can roll, which will increase my speed, and uh, it also is playing the cooldown. It's currently two seconds cooldown, and I can evade with these uh, enemies easier. Okay. So that's of the one of the features. The other feature is the infinite map, so when I will be moving top, you will see I will never reach the ending of the map, because my map is a uh, is uh, infinite. I will show you how it looks like. When I will go to the here, the view, actually I will close the game and I will place my scene next to my game view so you can see this better. Okay, so here is a game view. All right, next to each other. So I'll play the game now and start. Oh, actually, I need to unselect to uh, not play it in the scaled mode to in a uh, maximize mode, but uh, in focus mode. Now let me play this and uh, I'll show infinite map. Start, Night Blonde. Okay, I'll make this easier for you to see. So here is our map. Okay, and as I will play the game, I will go to the north of the map. The map, you can see, the map is moving uh, together with the player. Okay. okay, so as I'm moving, the map is increasing with me. I, I can go back, of course, and the map will be will be changing as well, will be moving together with me. When I will reach some point, the map the, the map is moving with me. I can now go to the right side. I will show you also from the right side, the map is increasing. Okay, and basically now we have an infinite map with this implementation. Okay, so that's the base features that the course is, uh, course is covering. Ability system, enemies, infinite map, spawning system and uh, many, many other uh, other features. The main focus of this project is to make it modular as much as possible, to incorporate uh, scriptable objects. Okay, so we, we, we will be working with a scriptable object uh, a lot. Then we'll be working, for example, on AI for the enemies, then we'll be working on a state machine. The scriptable objects are our main part. Also the ability system, the scriptable objects are basically how we are creating the abilities and containing the data. Scriptable objects will be using also for the event system and also other system that it's explained already in, in the course. So that's gonna be it from the last development update video. You can already watch this course on Eincode Academy. I will show you right now. Okay, so here it is. There is 170 lectures and 23 hours of content. I will be uploading more today and uh, the course is already finished. So you can watch the entire entire course. Okay, so that's gonna be it from the development update video, and I hope to see you around. Cheers.